Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. Let's see what's coming up in love for you guys. All right. Mine excuses for last month. All right. Fun times. Fun times. Ladies and gentlemen, you're getting your freedom. <laughs> I said it. Fun times. Fun times for you young ladies. You are getting your freedom back. Ooh, take it and work with it. So, love is about being free. Okay, if you control another person, it's not very nice. And it's about freedom. And I see a lot of you young women are going to be free. Um, if you were in a relationship and that sort of a thing. And a lot of you young ladies are going to be free to do anything. It's as if you were in some sort of a relationship. The relationship is over. Enjoy the moment in May. All right. We have a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person that some of you are dealing with. And we have the Two of Cups. Um, and it's as if uh, um, this is over. There is no... New start for this person. Whoever this person is, it is a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And I see a lot of you are going to be deciding to end the relationship. Well, the Nine of Cups is here. And a lot of you are going to be uh, happy in your marriage or relationship. I see the energy of the Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman. This Cancer woman is now having some sort of a problem. So all the cancer women, I see some sort of a problem. Uh, the seven of pentacles is that I see some of you cancer women are not going to be trying to work on your marriage or your relationship. You're letting it go, okay? The eight of cups. For some of you who are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, it's not yet over, Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse, and I see it's going to be affecting cancer, cancer women. All right. And we have um, some sort of a relationship for you. Cancer women are not yet over, especially all the cancer women. It's not yet over. Okay. A lot of you are going to be having a new start with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So that is good. It is your opposite sign. Um. A lot of you are dealing with an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian man. If you're married to this Aries Lee or a Sagittarian man, it's as if you're going back and forth, back and forth. You're on the coma wheel with this man. It's time to end it. So a lot of you cancer women, you need to end a relationship with an Aries a man, Aries Lee or a Sagittarian man because it's not healthy. Then we see they're going to be finding out that this man has been seeing multiple people and have been having multiple affairs, okay? So whoever is this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian man is a situation where this is an old businessman or um, someone who is financial stable. And if you, um, Pisces, Cancer, women are married to this person, it is time to let go of this person and the situation that is going on because it's not really healthy to be honest this is an unhealthy relationship that has been going on okay so i see a lot of you um are on like a a karmatic wheel with your relationships okay and i see no new start is going to be coming up um for um you guys who are Moving forward um, with Sagittarian, no new start. Um, with Aaliyah, no new start. I see some of you are going to decide, I don't want to um, involve myself with the Sagittarian and the Leo anymore because uh, um, this is not healthy. It's not coming up as a healthy relationship for myself. And, you know, a lot of you are going to be making the decision to let go of this relationship, okay? So I see... Um, it's, it's as if whoever is in um, a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and uh, Aries have intervened in this relationship. As we look at the situation with the Leo, a lot of you are going to be ending relationships with Leo for whatever reason. And um, a lot of you are going to be standing your grains um, and releasing yourself from 
a Sagittarian that has been controlling some of you. Then a happiness and joy with the Tauruses, and that is good. I see a lot of you women are having some sort of an issue with a Virgo. And with the energy of the Capricorn, I see a lot of uh, you Capricorns do not really want to work on the relationship anymore. They're just letting it go in with the flow. Okay. Um, people who are in relationship with the Geminis, I see this relationship is the our our marriage is not yet over, but there is someone that is intervening and is an Aries D or a Sagittarian person. This man is married to some of you. You gotta recognize that this man has some sort of a eyes uh, and is creating a whole lot of issue, emotional situation with whoever is in a relationship with a Gemini. Um, whoever is in a relationship with a Libran is 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 a karma. Okay, you're going on on the wheel of karma and it's in reverse that is saying that you need to end this karmatic relationship with this Libran because it was not meant to be um uh you women need to end a relationship with a Aries man it was not meant to be you constantly going around on a um, um a karmatic situation when we look at the Aquarian um a situation is not yet over for you guys and the Aquarian. So whatever is happening and transpiring, you guys and the Aquarian, this relationship is not yet over. Then we are recognizing um, the Cancers. A lot of you want some, um, a lot of you Cancers are going to be getting some sort of a new start and you're going to be getting off of the karma wheel is as if some of you cancers were going to the same people doing the same thing same thing and i see a lot of you cancers are going to be stepping off the karma wheel when it comes down to love and a relationship then we look at the scorpions and a whole lot of you scorpions is going to be walking away and ending some sort of a relationship with a aries or a sagittarian man it's as if this is karma. I got to end this. This is not healthy. I got to let this go. And with the energy of the Pisces, a lot of you Pisces are, are going to be having multiple relationships. A lot of you Pisces are going to be connecting with people um, on a different level. It's like a multiple level where you're connecting with people. So you got to be aware of what is coming up. All right. <clears throat> oh recognize this hello so um let's um see what is happening and transpiring um and um i do my readings differently um i look at each um zodiac energy with people and you guys are pisces cancer and scorpion so let's see what is coming out so love call so I see a lot of you um, are missing a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. You recognize that this person is the one you're in love with. And it's as if this relationship was over and you want to reconnect with this person. I see some of you ladies, especially Pisces ladies, are in love, love call, booty call. Um, there is a new love for some of you Pisces women. Um, photographic and a lot of you are um, going back and thinking about something with a Leo and a Sagittarian and how you know you make the wrong choice you choose for a Leo or a Sagittarian over a Capricorn and some of you are recognizing and think rethinking back and recognizing Jesus I made the biggest mistake okay Wedding bells, a lot of you are going to be wanting to marry, um, get married to a Capricorn. Um, yeah, a lot of you are going to be wanting to get married to a Capricorn. I see you, um, ladies are having problems with your marriage, but a lot of you are going to be wanting to marry to a Capricorn. But a lot of you other ladies are having, um, marriage problems, uh the heart with the key the heart with the key the heart with the key so a lot of you have the heart with the key you women 
uh, Pisces women, I see new relationship is coming up. You recognize that this person have the heart with a key for you and it's a Gemini. So I see a lot of you Pisces are going to be going back to a Gemini. Um, they're going to be recognizing that a Gemini was really in love with some of you Pisces women. Um, the situation with a Libran, you're, you know, it's as if some of you were in a relationship with a Libran. You think that the Libran, um, some of you are thinking about marrying to the Libran. Um, but this is a karmatic relationship. Um, some of you are married and it's seen a Libran, but it's a karmatic relationship. Separation is coming up for cancers. Cancers are going to be separating or getting divorced. Cancers who are connected with fire sign person or Gemini's is going to be separating. So I see a Cancer and a Gemini is going to be separating. I see a Cancer and a Libra is going to be separating. And I see a Cancer and an Aries is going to be separating. Twin flames. So wow, tag, tag, tag. A lot of you, you Pisces, are going to be meeting your twin flame. Pisces and Scorpions are going to be meeting their twin flame. So this is good. Um, a Pisces is going to be recognizing that um, they were connected to a Libra and it was um, a karmatic relationship. So Twin Flame is coming up for the Scorpion and the Pisces. Scorpion and Pisces, you're going to be meeting your Twin Flame. Alrighty, I love this for you guys. Okay, so let's go in and see so we're first looking um a lot of you who were in some sort of a relationship with an aries i see um you cancers that was in a relationship or a marriage with an aries i see a scorpion is coming in i see some sort of a third party that is plain so if you are married to an aries i see um there is third party because it's about the cancers and the aries there is a third party um that is going to be coming in be watching out for that then we see uh, Jupiter and a Taurus, Jupiter and Taurus. And this energy of uh, the, the, um, the Sagittarian and the Taurus, I see um, I, whoever is in a relationship with a Leo, it's as if this Leo um, is, is uh, the ex who is a Sagittarian is coming back. All right. So be aware of that. So. Then we see Sagittarian and Ophiosus, Pisces and Taurus. But um, um, Ophiosus and Sagittarian, if you are dealing with someone from another country, because you're in the ninth house, you're showing up in the ninth house, and the Pisces and this Taurus is from another country, I see some sort of a connection. They're definitely going to be some sort of a connection with these two people. So it's as if, you could be in different places at the same time or um, you Sagittarian or in a relationship with a Leo. They have met a Pisces from another country. It is going to be coming up. All right. Jupiter and uh, Sagittarians. I see um, a Sagittarian. Uh, Aries was trying to ruin your marriage or your reputation. So you get to be aware of who this Aries is. So, so um, a lot of you who are in a relationship with a Sagittarian or an Aries, they're going to be trying to ruin your reputation or your marriage. Okay. Then we have the energy of uh, um, a relationship is not yet over. Um, a marriage, if some of you are married to a Capricorn, a Taurus or a Cancer, this marriage, especially, I see that a lot of you are, are, are going to be wanting to ask the hands of a Capricorn and Taurus. Capricorn and Taurus. Now, some of you Cancers are going to be um, recognizing that, you know, it's as if I should have married to this Capricorn or I should have married to this Taurus. And it's like, uh, too late, it's gone that sort of a situation. If you're in marriage to these people, I see your relationship is going to be act really powerful, especially for the Tauruses. I see um, you're going to be happy in this marriage or this relationship, okay? 
then we are looking at the Pisces okay and you Pisces are going to be connecting with a Gemini Pisces and Gemini yes only if you were a Pisces Aquarian cup you can uh, connect with a Gemini if you're a Pisces Aquarian cup yes you can uh, uh, connect with a Gemini then I see some of you Pisces are going to be finding out that a Cancer is your soulmate okay Alrighty, let's move on. We are looking at the scorpions and the cancers. Now, the scorpions in their house, um, you scorpions are going to be meeting a cancer, which is also um your twin flame. So a lot of you scorpions are going to be um uh meeting this cancer that is your twin flame. Now, you cancers are going to, you scorpions are going to be separated from um a gemini okay then we look at the house um cancers you cancers i see you cancer some sort of a divorce separation and divorce is going to be coming up for you cancer so a lot of you cancers are going to be separating and then getting a divorce um scorpions and taurus yes scorpions and taurus you're good together you can also um be soulmates and i see that some of you scorpions um that was in a relationship with a gemini's you are going to be recognizing um or scorpions that was in a relationship with a Gemini, you're going to be recognizing that, that you can't choose between the two because they both hold the key to your heart. But if you need to choose, you need to choose the Taurus because Scorpions and Taurus are twin, twin flame. That's where you find your twin flame. Then we are looking at the um, Capricorns and the Aries. And trust me, why I look at this Capricorn and Aries does not go, do good. Um, in a relationship, they do good in business. Um, they can be good at friendship, but that's it. But I see, um, that as you, um, guys, um, is, is happy, happy being, um, with a, um, Capricorn. And some of you are happy being with an Aries. And some of you, especially the Pisces, um, Pisces are now thinking, oh, the Capricorn really have the key to my heart. Um, whatever is transpiring, a lot of you Pisces is going to be thinking, um, if you are a Pisces that is married to an Aries, you're going to be thinking, no, 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 the Capricorn has the key to my heart. So, oh my God, wedding rings, wedding bells, unions, marriages is going to be the name of the game is as if some of you are recognizing that is where I need to be, um, I need to stay in this relationship um, that I'm in. That sort of a situation is going to be coming up and it's going to be powerful. So you have love calling and a lot of you um, love calling. I see a lot of Aries is going to be coming towards some of you, but it's not a good match. Okay. Uh, cancer, ladies, your marriage is on the rock. Some of you have been um, pulling, pulling out, pulling out, pulling out, pulling out and People are now recognizing that no, it's not, it's not durable. It's as if you're in a marriage and it's karma. It's as if you have been uh, in so many lifetime on the same karma wheel in the same marriage with the same person. And it is time that you let it go. So again, so women, you got to face the fact that this relationship of, that you're in and on this karma wheel a lot of you cancers are on a karma wheel um and you need to let it go and it's a karma wheel with a um with a aquarian for some of you a karma wheel with an aries for some of you you gotta let it go it's not working out okay it is karma and it's you cancer ladies that it's going to be affecting um, Pisces women, I see new love. Uh, you could be, if a Gemini was your soulmate or you were married to a Gemini, you're going to be returning to this Gemini or you and this Gemini are going to be ending up together. Okay. Pisces ladies, that is coming up. Now, 
I said that Leo is trying to make a comeback for some of you, and some of you are uh, no okay. The moments was good, you know. You um have me when it comes on to sex, but it is not about that, and it's as if a lot of you are thinking. Uh, yeah, the moments was good, but no, it's as if a lot of you are recognizing that, uh, mm, okay, it was good, but for the rest of it, you know, let it go. A lot of you women, uh, Ophiosis, Sagittarian women or men, there is some sort of a situation that you're going to be it's either you're going to be catching your Taurus husband having an affair with a Pisces. Okay, because I see photograph. Looking at your photos, okay? So it's as if a lot of you Sagittarian women are going to be um, catching your um, Taurus husband or wife uh, with a Pisces. You're going to have been pictures. You're going to be seeing them. Okay, whether it's in the hack or not in the hack, it's going to be coming out. So be aware of this. I absolutely love you guys. Um, my love is so much for you guys. It's going to be beautiful. You have love and call. You have um, heart with the key. Separation is coming up for the Cancers, the Geminis, and the Scorpions. Um, nostalgia moments is for the Leos. Um, and the cancer women have to recognize, uh, a Leo, Leo's wants back some sort of a relationship, but you, uh, want to sign people are kind of holding it at bay for whatever the reason is. So marriage, um, I see, um, you guys could be either marrying or getting in some sort of a marriage uh, situation with the Virgos and the Capricorn that is going to be good. A lot of you, there is a situation with uh, the Aquarians, but it's as if this relationship with an Aquarian is not over. And that is really basically what is coming up. So, and I see separation and the separation is really going to be affecting the Cancers and the Scorpion. Pisces, you are going to be finding your twin flame or soulmate. Make, um, make sure that is really your twin flame or soulmate because a lot of you Pisces are always in love, but it is not about in love, but it's about in love with the right persons. I do love you guys. Please remember, thumbs up, share, and I will speak to you next time. The extended readings are already out. So if you are a member or you want to see the extended for this, join. Use the join button and choose the third subscription. There is where you can find your extended for this. And it's only for individual zodiac sign so you cancers are going to get one um scorpions is going to get one and pisces is going to get one go check out your reading pisces because you have twin flame and uh, you pisces recognize uh, um who is your twin flame and that sort of a thing you all the key to your heart a lot of you pisces women new love is coming in i see a lot of you are happy and in love i gotta go but i'm saying i'm gonna stay until next time Oh, mm -hmm.